What's up guys, how's it going? So today we have kind of a special episode um, and add-on to our Game Maker Studio 2 uh, top-down shooter tutorial or shoot 'em up tutorial. Um, we have a commenter edition, I guess you would call it. Uh, one of our commenters, Stephen E. Stephen Evanick, I hope I didn't get your name wrong, um, posted a great optimization tip to make our game run a little smoother. So I'll go into what that is right now. So if you go into objects and open up our enemy uh, where we just set up HP, we'll see that every step of the game it checks if the enemy, um, if his HP is less than or equal to zero, and if it is, then it destroys the enemy. And that works. If there's ever a frame in the game where HP is equal to zero, or less than zero for some reason, like it took a whole lot of damage, then uh, that enemy would disappear. However, since our game is running at 60 frames a second, this is going to be running 60 times every time, uh, well, 60 times every second. So um, his optimization tip was instead of checking it every second of the game for every enemy on the screen, we can actually um, uh, copy this over to our collision event. And right after we subtract one from the HP, we can run this check and say if the HP is now equal to zero, destroy the instance. And that'll only happen when our bullet hit, or when our laser, when our object laser hits our object enemy, uh, which is a great tip because running only once versus running possibly hundreds, if not thousands of times um, for every enemy is going to save you some CPU time, especially if you start adding a ton of stuff in your game. So um, let's go ahead and do that now. So one way that we can do this, just to save some time, is if we hold down control and click on both of these um, objects, the, I mean both of these behaviors, the if variable and the destroy instance. And we're going to right click and go to cut. We can also use control X to cut. Um, but sometimes I get some bugs using the keyboard shortcuts for some reason. And it only happens in Game Maker Studio 2. Uh, so I just use right click because sometimes it doesn't work and I lose a whole bunch of work. Uh, anyway. If you go into object laser now into this collision event, we can go ahead and paste it here. And um, just make sure that it's after everything else that happens because we don't want to check if um, the HP is equal to zero and it's equal to one and then right after that subtract one from it and now, it's, uh, now it has zero HP and it's just flying around until it gets hit again. Um, we want to subtract one first and then check the HP. So this is perfect. It checks the HP, destroys the object instance uh, other, so the laser, and then it checks if the uh, enemy's HP is less than or equal to zero, and if it is, then it destroys itself. And this will only check when the collision happens. So we can go into our game and test it out. And here it is. We can fly around. One, two, three, and yep, it works. Three bullets, and it still destroys our enemy, and it saves us some precious CPU time in the process. So thank you so much, Stephen E. Uh, everyone else, feel free to post more ideas and comments like this. And Stephen, if you want to post more, feel free to. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, and thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Have a good day. Peace.